Hello and welcome to BitKnits. Today I have another bonus fillet crochet square for us to work up that will go along with our 2024 crochet along calendar blanket that we're doing this year. This is a bonus pattern. I also have it available on Etsy. The link to that is down below in the description box if you want to check that out. I write all my patterns in both fillet crochet terms and in just regular crochet terms. So I give you the number of blocks and spaces that you need, as well as the number of double crochets you need or the number of chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next space stitches that you need. So if that's helpful for you, go ahead and check that out as well. In this video, I'm going to work through this square. We are working up a tulip for this bonus square. It works up really fast. And as you can see, we create this nice image in the center of our square. I recommend using the same size hook that you've been using, as well as the same weight yarn and fiber yarn that you've been using for some of your other squares. That way when we go to join these together, they all kind of play well together and you don't have to worry about different yarn fibers or weights meshing with others. However, that being said, this is your creation. If you want to play around with different weights of yarn and different fibers, then I say go for it because you never know what you'll create. So grab your yarn and your hook and we will fillet crochet up this tulip square together. For this square, I am going to be using some impeccable four weight yarn. This color is orchid pink and I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. As with every square, we start with a slip knot on our hook and we're going to chain a foundation chain of 48 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain of 48, we're going to work row one, reading the graph right to left. Every odd row, we read the graph right to left and every even row, we read the graph left to right. So row one is all shaded in blocks. So we're going to work all double crochets for row one. For this first row off of our foundation chain, we need to work a double crochet back into the fourth chain away from the hook. So one, two, three, and four. Work your first double crochet. This counts as a first two stitches because this counts as a turning chain and our turning chains do count as stitches for this pattern. So the beginning of each row is a chain three, which always will count as a double crochet stitch. Now we're just going to work a double crochet back into each chain all the way back. And this will be row number one. At the end of row one, you should have 46 total double crochets. For row two, reading the graph left to right, we have one block, one space, one block, two spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, two space, one block, one space, ending with one block. Every row starts with a chain three. This counts as your first double crochet. Turn your work. And for our first block, we're going to work a double crochet into the next three stitches. There's our first block. A block consists of four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Next up, we have a space. A space consists of a double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Your last double crochet from your previous square, this happens to be our first block, counts as the first double crochet of your next square. 
So we already have our double crochet for our space. So we're going to chain two, skip two stitches, and double crochet into the next. And that creates our space. We need a block. We have the first double crochet of our block. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next three stitches. For our next block, now we need two spaces. So chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. There's our first one. Let's do that again. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for space number two. We need two blocks, so we're going to work a double crochet over the next six stitches. We need a space, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Two blocks, so a double crochet over the next six. Two spaces, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next twice. There's one, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for number two. We need one block, one space, and one block. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next three for our first block. Now we need a space, we're going to chain two, skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. You should have three stitches left, one, two, and that turning chain is three. For our last block we're going to double crochet into each of those last three stitches. Always work in the top of that turning chain for your final double crochet. And that is row number two. For row number three, we're reading the graph right to left. We have all shaded in blocks, so we're going to work all double crochets. Chain three, turn, and work a double crochet into each stitch all the way down. You should have 46 total stitches for row number three. When you come to a space, you want to try to work into the actual chain stitch. And then just continue on one double crochet into each stitch all the way down for row number three. For row number four, we're reading the graph left to right. We have seven blocks, one space, seven blocks. So we're going to chain three and turn, and we're going to work a double crochet over the next 21 stitches for our seven blocks. After those 21 double crochets, we're going to work a space, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. You should have 21 total stitches at the end of this row left to work into. You're going to work a double crochet into each of those last stitches to create your seven blocks to finish row number four. 
for row number five, we're reading the graph right to left. We have five blocks, five spaces, and five blocks. So we're going to work a chain three and turn. That's our first stitch. We're going to work a double crochet over the next 15 stitches to give us our first five blocks. We now need five spaces, so we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next five total times. There's once, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next space number two, chain two, skip two, skip those two chains, double crochet in the next for space number three, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next space number four, and one more time, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next four, space number five. You should have 15 stitches left. Go ahead and work a double crochet into each of those 15 stitches to complete your five blocks on the end, and this completes row number five. For row number six, we're reading the graph left to right. We have four blocks, two spaces, one block, one space, one block, two spaces, ending with four blocks on the end. We're going to chain three and turn. We're going to work a double crochet into the next 12 stitches for our first four blocks. We're going to work two blocks, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next two times, so that's once, chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next four, space number two. We're now working a block, so we want to double crochet over those next three stitches, right into those chain stitches once, twice, and our third double crochet for our block. We're now going to work a space, so chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next, and you can see how it's following the graph, those middle three spaces that we have for rows four, five, and six are following straight up for the stem of our flower. So you, it's kind of an easy way to see if you're on track with your stitches. We now need a block, so I'm going to work a double crochet over the next three stitches. One, oops, two, and three. We need two spaces, so chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next twice. There's our first one, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next four space number two. And then you should have 12 stitches left on the end. Work a double crochet into each of those next 12 stitches to complete your last four blocks and row number six. For row seven, we're reading the graph right to left. We have three blocks, two spaces, two blocks, one space, two blocks, two spaces, and three blocks on the end. We're going to chain three and turn. For our first three blocks, we need to work a double crochet over the next nine stitches. Next, we need to work two spaces, so chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next, whoops, let's try that again, double crochet into the next for our first space. One more time, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for space number two. 
Now we need two blocks. We're going to double crochet over the next six stitches. We need a space, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for our space, and that is the middle space that follows our stem up. So just so you know, you can kind of look at that and make sure you're on track for almost every row, at least up through probably row nine. Next we need two blocks, so I'm going to double crochet into the next six stitches. We now need two spaces, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next, and chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number two. You should have nine stitches left on the end. Work a double crochet into each of these stitches to complete your last three blocks and row number seven. For rows eight and nine, we are just repeating what we did in row four. So if you need a refresher or want to work along with me here, go back to row four, repeat row four. We're going to have seven blocks, one space, and seven blocks for rows eight and nine. And I will meet you back here to start row number 10. After working rows eight and nine, which is the same as row four, seven blocks, one space, seven blocks. We are now on row 10. For row 10, we're reading the graph left to right. We have five blocks, five spaces, and five blocks. This is exactly like row number five. So we're going to chain three and turn, and you're going to repeat what you did for row number five. Work a double crochet in the first 15 stitches. Work five spaces, ending with a double crochet in the last 15 stitches. After row 10, which is the same as row five down here, we're going to work row 11, and row 11 we're reading the graph right to left. We have four blocks, seven spaces, and four blocks. So we're going to chain three and turn. For our first four blocks, we're going to work a double crochet over the next 12 stitches. Next, we need seven spaces, so we're going to chain two skip to double crochet into the next seven times. So that's one, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for space number two, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number three, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next for space number four, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. Space number five, we need two more spaces, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. And one more, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for space number seven. Ending with four blocks on the end, you should have 12 stitches left. We're going to work a double crochet into each of those last 12 stitches to complete row number 11. 
rows 12 and 13 are exactly the same as each other. So we're going to work row 12 together and then you can repeat this for row 13. Chain 3 and turn. Row 12 is 3 blocks, 9 spaces, ending with 3 blocks. So we're going to work a double crochet over the next 9 stitches for our first 3 blocks. Now we need 9 spaces and we're going to work in the same way that we did for the previous row where we work all of those spaces to create the petals of our flower. So we need 9 total spaces. We're going to chain 2, skip 2, double crochet in the next 9 times. So you're basically going to be working spaces over those spaces, creating sort of like a mesh type pattern stitch, and then an extra one on the end, like this. So that's our first one. As long as you count and have 9 spaces for this row, you're good. I'm going to do this eight more times. And once more, chain two, let's see, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. And there are my nine spaces. You should have nine stitches left. We're going to double crochet into each of those last nine stitches to complete our three blocks on the end. And this completes row 12. Now row 13 is exactly the same as row 12. So repeat exactly what we did for row 12 and I will meet you back here to go over row number 14. I've got rows 12 and 13 completed. We're now on row 14. We are reading the graph left to right. We have two blocks, three spaces, one block, three spaces, one block, three spaces ending with two blocks. We're going to chain three to start and turn. For our first two blocks we're going to double crochet into the next six stitches. Next we need three spaces so chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next three times. For three spaces. Next we need one block, so a double crochet into the next three stitches. And three more spaces, so chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next three times. There's our three spaces. We need one block, so a double crochet into the next three stitches. Three spaces, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next three times.
you should have six stitches left on the end. Work a double crochet into each of those stitches to complete your two blocks on the end and row number 14. For row 15, we're reading the graph right to left. We need two blocks, two spaces, two blocks, three spaces, two blocks, two spaces, ending with two blocks. We're going to chain three and turn. We're going to work a double crochet over the next six stitches for our first two blocks. We need two spaces, we're going to chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next two times. We now need two blocks, we're going to work a double crochet over the next six stitches. Three spaces, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next three times. Two blocks, so a double crochet over the next six. Two spaces, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. One more time, chain two, skip two, double crochet in the next. For our two spaces, you should now have six stitches on the end. Work a double crochet into each of those last six stitches to complete row 15. For row 16, we're reading the graph left to right now. We are going to work two blocks, one space, four blocks, one space, four blocks, one space, ending with two blocks. We're going to chain three and turn. We're going to work a double crochet into the next six stitches for our first two blocks. And this fabric is growing, so it's all over the place right now. We need one space, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. Four blocks, so we're going to work a double crochet over the next 12 stitches. We now need one space chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next for our space. We need four blocks, so we're going to work a double crochet over the next 12 stitches. We need one space, chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next, and Ending with two blocks, you should have six total stitches left. Work a double crochet into each of those last six stitches to complete your two blocks on the end and row number 16.
And there is our tulip flower done in filet crochet. For rows 17 and 18, you can see that the squares are all shaded in. We're going to repeat what we did for row 3, which is simply just working a double crochet into each stitch all the way across. That's for rows 17 and 18. For row 19, we are going to repeat exactly what we did for row 2 down here. And for row 20, all shaded in squares, all blocks, all double crochets. You should have 46 total stitches. Remember to work in to the top of the turning chain for your very last double crochet of each row. I'm going to go ahead and work rows 17, 18, 19, and 20 off camera, and then I will be right back to show you what the final square looks like. And here it is, the finished bonus tulip filet crochet square for our 2024 filet crochet calendar blanket. I love how this square came out. We've got a nice tulip image in the center. This one works up really fast. I hope you enjoyed it as well. As always, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. And until next time, happy filet crocheting everyone. Bye.